All right, excuse the look for this vid, but we got some things to talk about. So first I want to mention how all these games are going to come out in the, ne the next week and a half, two weeks. But also there's one specific game that is coming out. That's going to be Bayonetta 3. Now, it's been going around recently on social media. I don't know if some of you know about it, but the voice actor, the original voice actor for the first two Bayonetta games is not going to be voicing the third Bayonetta. This is because she was being underpaid, severely underpaid, by the production company and the publishers for her role. Now, keep in mind, she is one of the most iconic female characters in the gaming industry. I can't name any female protagonist in video games because there's not a lot of them. I can name Aloy. I can name Bayonetta. Honestly, not much come to mind when I think about female protagonist. Now, of course, that is something that the game industry can improve upon because, honestly, I would like to see a good female protagonist. Like, it's cool that Bay Bayonetta is, like, overpowered and has all these cool abilities. Of course, they throw a little, you know, immature scenes inside of the game, but that's just what comes with it. You know, it is rated for an older audience. And of course, I like Aloy because she is strong. Like, she, she's literally overcoming every one of her, like, difficult moments in the video game. You can literally see her character progression throughout the story. And I love that. It's really good. But back to what I was saying, the voice actor is being severely underpaid. Let me see how much exactly she said she was offered. The Bayonetta voice actor was offered $4,000 for her role. $4,000. Keep in mind, Bayonetta is a very popular game, especially for the type of genre that it appeals to, which is a hack and slash. Now, hack and slashes, there's not really a lot of them. I mean, first ones that come to mind are like the original God of Wars, Devil May Cry. Honestly, I can't think of many much, but like you got to realize there's a certain community within those genres that. People go really hard for Now, the fact that they're offering her $4,000 as an English voice actor is insane. Now, this isn't the first time something like this has happened before. Uh, I think, what was it? I think it was the Jujutsu Kaisen voice actors or the Demon Slayer voice actors. But I think they got $150 for their roles also. And this was out like residual without residuals and stuff like that. If anything, let me pull up the exact numbers. We'll look at them together. So Jujutsu Kaisen Zero dub actor was paid only $150. Let's read this together, right? Now, of course, the character that she was playing was the spirit of the main character of the movie. We have to realize she also plays a major role. It is literally the cursed spirit. She's literally playing the main reason why the main character is the way he is. Why is she getting paid $150? Like, I've seen people, like, I've seen people do less for their roles and get paid more. Like, let's, let's see how much the voice actor for Groot got paid. This man got paid $54.5 million for voicing Groot. All he said was, I am Groot. He has $54 million for saying I am Groot in a movie. This voice actor got paid $150. Literally the cursed spirit. The thing that the main character is like haunted by every day and has PTSD over. What's going on? Like, let's be honest. That's kind of fucked. Like, what is going on in this industry? I mean, of course, it's not American. We don't really have a say in it. But it's also like, come on. Like, people got lives. I'm sure... Regardless of whatever language you speak, you understand that people have lives. People have to live, feed their family, feed themselves. And of course, how are they going to continue being voice actors if they can't, you know, live? $150? Dude, I could buy two video games with that. Come on. N Nintendo's still selling the first two Bayonettas at full price. That's $150 is literally the first two fucking Bayonetta games. But still, for, like... Four thousand dollars, dog. I think somebody did the math on that, right? Somebody did the math on the four thousand dollars, and that's literally only like sixty copies or something like that. That's insane. I'm gonna be honest, that's insane. I don't know, man. Personally, if that was me, I wouldn't let that slide. Um, 
the voice actor was telling us to boycott the game. I'm going to be honest, too. Um, when I was looking at the trailer for the game, I was really confused because I was like, why does the graphics look more shit than ever before? Like the first the second Bayonetta looked amazing considering the capabilities of like the switch. I I thought it was not going to look that good, but somehow going from the second game to the third game made it look worse. It's actually kind of insane. And also what they did to my boy Luca is also kind of fucking criminal along with paying their voice actor $4,000. And I'm going to show you exactly what I mean. All right. So I'm going to pull up a series of pictures, right? So we have Luca, right? This is Bayonetta 1. Okay? Look how nice he looks. This game came out in 2008. Now, this is going to be Bayonetta 3, this next photo, which is coming out October fucking 28th, 2022. What the fuck happened? What happened? How did we go backwards? Keep in mind, you guys are going to be like, oh, he took the worst photo. Dude, this is how he looks in the trailer. Go watch the trailer. It's like three minutes. He looks like this. His face is like reddish over here. And then he's just like pudding all around. It's it's not normal. It's not. I don't know how we're moving back in society with these video games, but something needs to happen. We need to up our standards. That's all I needed to talk about. Uh, I'm about to hit the gym. Uh, I wanted to make this yesterday, but I didn't have no time. I was busy. Life. But I'll talk to you guys tomorrow, I think. Maybe. Yeah. Yeah. But all right. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.